Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Max today. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. We are doing a collaboration with the Purposeful Pantry. So you guys be sure to check this out. I'm going to post a link in my description that is going to take you guys to um, some awesome channels that have come together and put together some recipes for you. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is what I'm making today. I'm making a one skillet meal. I'm going to be sharing the recipe with you guys. And it is uh, creamy sausage and spinach pasta. It is super easy and super delicious. So, the first thing I want to talk about is something that I have in my pantry that I keep in my storage. We keep this on hand. It... Um, does not go bad these are some organic great value noodles it really doesn't matter the style of noodles that you use in this um you can use pen um whatever your family likes so the great thing about this meal too is you can really tweak it but i'm going to share with you the way i usually make it so out of the storage is something that does not go bad um noodles pasta other things that we have in our storage are things like rice spaghetti noodles and of course dried beans so because we're in the time that we're in right i pulled these out of my storage and i'm going to use this to make our pasta and before we go any further i need to get some of our girls milk our jersey's milk and we have to go down to the raised beds outside and pick some spinach. So let's go do that. In this bed is a variety of lettuce and spinach, but today we are going to be picking some spinach. Farm fresh milk. So I'm starting off with a pound of smoked sausage. And what I want to do is I'm just going to cut this up in my skillet. Um, we like ours pretty thin. So I'm just going to cut this pound up, turn my skillet on about medium, and saute the sausage. Okay, now while this is heating up and cooking, I'm gonna turn it on about medium. I have measured out, um, actually I didn't measure, <sighs> but this is the great thing, like I told you about this recipe, is if you like something more garlicky, add a little bit more garlic. If you like something a little bit more oniony, add a little bit more onion. So I have sprinkled in my measuring cup salt pepper garlic and onion powders um so i'm going to use this once my sausage gets going if you wanted to cut up garlic and onion fresh garlic and onion that'll work too and like i said that's the great thing about this recipe okay so i have added my seasonings in and this needs to fully cook. I have washed my spinach and now I wanna cut it up. So there's nothing fancy about this, but I did find a little way that I like to cut up lettuce and spinach. So my biggest leaf is on bottom. I have my other spinach on top and I'm just gonna take this and roll it up, hold it down and cut it into little strips. Now this, you do not have to have sp fresh spinach for this recipe. You can also use frozen spinach, but because we raise our own spinach and lettuce here on our homestead, I am using our fresh spinach from the raised bed. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to set this aside until we're ready to add it in to the meal. All right, y'all. So our spinach is cut up. Our sausage is done. So I'm going to add about three cups of milk. Give or take about three cups of milk. The recipe calls for three cups of milk, but I always tweak my own. And I'm going to add in some of our pasta noodles. About eight ounces. This says this is 17 ounces. So I'm gonna do probably close to half of the pack. If your noodles are not submerged under water, you won't, not under water. Ah, cut that. <laughs> if your noodles are not under milk, you want to add a little bit more milk. And now I want to bump this up to high. And that for the fairly, for the most part, mine are under milk. I don't have just a pile of noodles sticking up top. Smells delicious. I want to cover this up. I'm going to turn it up, bring it to a bowl. Got this covered. I'm waiting for it to come to a bowl and I have moved on to our next step. And that's one of the great things about this recipe as while you're waiting on the sausage to cook, you can be picking and washing, cutting up your spinach. Um, if you're going to just pop it out of the freezer, you can be gathering up the rest of your ingredients. Um, so we're waiting on this to come to a bowl and I have some organic sharp cheddar cheese. This is one of our family favorites. Any kind of cheese will work if you want to use mozzarella, whatever um, kind of cheese, Parmesan. Like I said, that's the really awesome thing about this recipe. If you wanted to add um, broccoli to it, if you wanted to add peppers, Really, the sky's the limit, um, but we tend to favor the sausage and spinach together, hence the name. It really, they really complement each other. So I'm gonna be showing up the cheese while I'm waiting for this to come to a bowl. Once this comes to a complete bowl, I'm going to turn it back down to a simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes until the noodles are tender. Occasionally give this a stir to keep it from sticking. I'm at a bowl now, so I'm gonna turn this down to medium low for about 10 or 15 minutes and let my noodles get nice and tender. Well, all right, y'all. Wish you could smell how good it smells in here, but since you can't smell, maybe you can just use your imagination. So my noodles, um, I've just been occasionally stirring this so that it won't stick. My noodles are nice and tender. Um, my liquid part of this has been cut in about half and that's, that, that's good. So now I want to add my spinach in on top. I'm going to stir that in and allow it to cook for about two or three more minutes. Next goes the cheese. And again, this is another one of those. I put about three fourths of a cup to a cup in. Again, it's one of those things. Do you want your, new, your pasta more cheesy or not? So if you want it more cheesy, add more cheese. If you want it not as cheesy, don't add as much cheese. And that is it, guys. That's it. That's all she wrote, as someone would say. And our creamy sausage and spinach pasta is done.
All right, guys. We have almost wiped out our meal. It was delicious. Don't forget, this is a collaboration. My recipe description, uh, my recipe will be down in the descriptions with the ingredients you need and the directions to follow. Um, but remember, you can tweak this. It's very easy, very delicious, and you can add to it or take away from it to best suit your family. And don't forget, this is a collaboration. Y'all be sure to check out the other channels. There's some awesome channels that's going to be sharing some really awesome recipes. Um, so y'all be sure to check that out. Happy homesteading, y'all.